Emily. I'm in trouble. Um, I want to apologize <laughs> to everybody who was looking for the ORCID tutorial today. Um, I got a little carried away over the weekend and Amelia and I were supposed to be filming and putting out, getting everything, all the finishing touches ready for the ORCID. And I got carried away and went in a different direction. And I just want to explain why. Um, <clears throat> sometimes that happens when you are a crazy artist and that's what I'm claiming. Um, so the video that was supposed to be posted today is about the ORCID. And I was kind of wanting to rework it because I'm not happy with the way the old one looks. And so I got playing around with these. It all started with this little pot, this little chinoiserie pot that is in the orchid. And then I was looking at my fabric and looking, just kind of playing around and thought, you know what? I've got um, a whole bunch of people that I would like to make a little thing for Mother's Day for. And so I was just playing around with this and I created this and that's what happened. And so I then on Friday cranked out eight of these, these little, um, these little pots and I was having so much fun. And so I'm sorry that I didn't do the video. Like I, you were expecting this one. We're going to get this one done, but that's what happened. So I did these cute little things and, um, I was having fun and I was just on a whim having fun. And that that's what happened. So I apologize. We are, um, getting some emails about people asking about the orchid video. We'll still get that out. We're going to try and get that out this week. Um, <clears throat> but we did put out a new video that talks about this, these little things. Um, and, uh, so anyway, that's what, that's the video for this Monday. And I apologize. I screwed it up. I mess. I didn't follow the calendar and Millie's really mad at me and Katie's really mad at me and we've laughed really hard about it, but, uh, that's what happened. So there. <laughs> So, um, I am fired anyway, that there we go. Okay. So while I'm live, there are a few of you on live. Um, this was not scheduled. This was impromptu. I just wanted to show you and it, it, tell you, I'm sorry that I didn't follow through. Like I said, I was going to, but that's, that's what happened. It was all because of this little pot and it took me in a different direction. And that's sometimes how creativity goes. So there. Um, if there are anybody, anybody that has a question while I'm on, I'm happy to answer any questions. So any questions at all, Amelia? No, no, no questions. <laughs> Nobody Katie? knows you're on. Okay. Katie, do you have any questions for me? Um, no, I don't. Okay. Mindy, do you have any questions <laughs> for me? <laughs> okay, guys. Um, yeah, it was, it was creativity and action and that's what happened. There we go. It's super cute. I though. love it. It is super cute. And honestly, I wouldn't have kept going except Amelia's reaction was, oh, I love it this weekend. Oh, it's my fault. <laughs> it is her fault. <laughs> so, so, um, just real quick while I'm here, I'm just going to say these chinoiserie pots, We've put out a new little fabric bundle that is six fabrics, all of all in these pots. Okay, um, the tutorial today shows making it and the um, using my ink tents. But then it was super simple to just fussy cut these leaves, and then I put them all together. And look how dang cute they are! And look how cute they are with the orchid. So that's that's that. Okay, so Pam just asked, can you show them all up close? Okay, so there's one of them. When you buy the this little chinoiserie bundle, you get the pattern um, with it. And the uh, flowers are all from my fussy cutting bundles. Look how cute that one is. I think that one's my favorite. Which one's your favorite? 
Yeah, this one's really oh, cute. One's so I think these two are my favorite right there. Oops. So this one, one, two. Those are my favorites. And I really like this one too. Super cute. And this one, kind of crazy, but I like it. This one. Yeah, this one's cute too. And then there's another one around here somewhere. How many was that? One, two, three, four, five, six. There's two more. Ah, right there. Do you want to grab them, Amelia? I'll just show them while I'm here, okay? I know. People are going to get mad at me. There's one more somewhere around here. It's kind of a mess right now. There's another one. I don't know where it is. Oh, it's right here. Okay. And this one. So there you go. Okay. So um, Deborah has a question. She said, I love this. I think people should give you and um, let's see here. I totally think you're allowed to veer off script. Thank you. I would love to buy these in any fabric bundle. Uh. When might they be available? Actually, they're available right now. So I did this on Friday. I worked on the weekend to just kind of, I actually unpicked a quilt that I had put them in. And um, so anyway, the pattern is available now. It's super simple. It's a very beginner friendly pattern and the video corresponds to um, making these. <clears throat> so anyway, thank you everybody for allowing me to be the artist because sometimes that's just, it took over and I was having so much fun. Um, Sherry said, do you have a template for the little flower vases? Yes. That's what's included when you purchase the, um, the little chinoiserie bundle. Um, Amelia, do you, you maybe want to grab, oh, here's a bundle. So this is the bundle and this is what I used in all the little pots. Okay. Um, and when you purchase this, it comes with the template for all of the vases. They're all a little bit of a different shape. There's four total. There's four uh, vase shapes. But you just duplicated them. But I've duplicated them. I've done eight total. So there you go. Um, let's see here. And um, Maureen just asked, are they wall hangings? Well, actually, my plan originally was to make these little pillows for my friends and my sisters for Mother's Day. I already have my mom, a Mother's Day present, and she got a pillow that I made for Christmas. So um, they fit my little 10-inch pillow insert. Look how cute that is. So that was my original plan to just create a little pillow for each of these. Um, but then when I put them up on the board together, I was like, ah, those are actually really cute in a simple little block quilt. And Amelia, bless her heart, is learning how to sew. And so I had her put them together in a quilt. <laughs> and um, so now I now I'm torn whether I want to use them in a quilt or if I want to make a whole bunch more. I mean, I guess I can. Look how cute that is. That makes a really cute quilt. So anyway, I don't know. I, I will probably do a little bit of both. Um, if you wanted to put them, you know, do a wall hanging, you certainly could. So you could either, you could even mount them on foam core and put them in a frame. So that's, that's that. Let's see, uh, someone Just asked. Them the discount? Oh, the discount. Um, there is a discount that we're giving. What do you tell me? Because I don't it's remember. When you buy the fussy cutting bundle and the chinoiserie fabric, okay, good. Five dollars off is automatically applied to your cart. Okay. No discount code required. Did y'all hear that? I'll repeat it. When you buy the chinoiserie bundle and the fussy cutting bundle, there's five dollars off until Mother's Day, which is this Sunday, May fourteenth. So if you want to buy yourself a little Mother's Day gift and get $5 off when you buy both of those, you can. And it's an automatic discount in the cart, right? Amelia, when yes, you put both the of them. No discount code needed. No discount code needed. When you add both of those to the cart, that's what that's what happens. 
Alrighty. Um, and yes, we do have these little inserts as well that make a perfect, um, that will make a perfect little pillow. So the pattern is called chinoiserie or chinois. Let's see. The French pronunciation chinoiserie. is chinoiserie. Ch the French pronunciation is like three syllables. Chinoiserie. Chinoiserie. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I have to tell you how my day started out. Okay, everybody. Oh <laughs> it's been a Monday and Amelia is just, she is my taskmaster today. I'm going to tell you how my day started. Then you'll understand what, where my brain is. So I got up this morning. I was really tired, but I made breakfast for my 17 year old son who is in high school. I made him a fried egg with ham and Gruyere cheese on toast. And it was just this yummy, delicious little meal to send him out the door. And I slid it across the counter to give it to him because he's standing on the other side of the counter and it slid right off the counter and plopped all over the floor. And the fried egg had that perfect runny yolk, which went <laughs> all over the floor. <laughs> so this has been my day. <clears throat> okay, back to a few questions. Alessandra said, um, is the bottle, if the bottle is glass, um, I'm not sure what you mean by that, Alessandra. So maybe you can clarify. Oh, uh, let's see. Any other questions? So chinoiserie is the name of the pattern. You can buy it under, uh, it's a parchment pressing pattern. Super simple. Um, you can also find it under fabric. Let's see here. And I'm sure some of you have probably already purchased both of them. If you want the discount code, email them. <laughs> they'll give you a they'll give you a refund. They're so mad at me. Oh my gosh, I'm <laughs> so sorry. Uh, and yes, Penny, I am putting the pattern, I'm making it available as a PDF. So yes. Okay. There we go. Peace out. I got to let my family or my staff here get back to work. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Please forgive me. And we will talk again soon.